acting like we're nothing to them. It's better to assume they're concerned. Why the hell are you two playing around? Stop wasting time before our main enemy shows up. Ah, you're here early. And so ends our fun. That's the head knight of the stall ridder. Duvali the Swift. She'll be trouble. <laughs> she may be kind of a ditz, but she's fast. Who, who are you calling a ditz, cocky little hatchling? Ines, Anea! We'll put a stop to them with our radiant star formation! Very well. <laughs> Don't hate us for what's about to happen. It's just like before. That the best you got? Bring it on! Prepare for... Not so fast. Ah! Goodness! Sooner than we expected. We made it. Excuse us. Oh. <laughs> How am I not surprised? Told you, <laughs> glory hound. <sighs> Instructor. Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to be in the left wing? <laughs> the paths meet up here, so we decided to see how things were going for you. <laughs> Seeing all the paths firsthand, I understand why they call this fortress impregnable. Leave them to us. We're almost there. See you again at the tower. Yes, Instructor. Thank you. Fine. Just be careful. <laughs> Charging headfirst into your graves, are you? Don't say I didn't warn you. If you're insistent on challenging our lord, I will cut you down right here and now. Two arms, Class 7, Ashen Chevalier! The next stop is Leaves. Leaves. We will be stopped for... We nearly arrived? Yeah. Sorry I had to be cooped up in Gorelia Fortress this past month. And I'm sure this isn't exactly a first-class cabin either. <laughs> Not to worry. This is something that needed to be done. While resting, the drain on my energy is insignificant. Besides, if it will reduce the burdens you shoulder, I am more than happy to... <laughs> you know, I'd think there was a human in there if I didn't already know that was you talking. Thanks, Velimar. You are welcome. Mm, is this it? Aha! Uh -huh. Sure is. <sighs> crying out loud. I don't know what all the fuss is about. Do they really need us to supervise unloading this junk? Huh? Picture that going through a landing port. Wow! I'd heard about him, but seeing one up close is wild. Wonder what they're doing here. A seven ards tall humanoid weapon. Panzer Soldats or something, yeah? No, I don't think so. Oh, this is the Ashen Knight, isn't it? Get out of here. Yeah, you're exactly right. I wouldn't have expected a civilian to know that, much less someone from outside Erebonia. <laughs> Let's just say I'm a little interested in things like this. A little? Your whole family goes nuts for this kind of stuff. But how'd you know we're not from around here? You have just the tiniest sliver of an accent. I'm guessing you're from somewhere down south? Liberal, maybe? Is it that easy to tell? <laughs> Bingo. So what? 
That makes you the Ashen Shiva. Yeah, I'm surprised you knew that too. Um. <laughs> Schwarzer, are you back here? We'll be arriving in five minutes. Are you prepared? Hmm? All set. I'm good to go whenever. Sorry for holding you up. We gotta get ready ourselves. Uh, that's right. Thanks for talking with us. Who are those two? They didn't appear to be your everyday civilian. They're from Liberal. I guess they're getting off soon, too. Something tells me I'll be seeing more of them at my new job. Oh, is that so? I admit, I have heard the rumors. Now arriving at Leaves Station. Leaves Station. We will be stopped for 10 minutes to unload cargo. <laughs> it would appear little has changed. The Ashen Knight is as beloved by the masses as ever. Well, I, uh, tried to lay low this past year. I've turned down all the interview requests I've been bombarded with. It's little wonder, then. For a young hero like yourself, such actions only serve to grant you an irresistible air of mystery. The rumors of your role in the Northern War have, by this point, far outstripped the truth. <sighs> My apologies. That was a regrettable slip of the tongue. No, it's all right. It's just something I'll have to deal with. Thank you, Patrick. For the last year... No, last two years. You've helped me out more times than I can count. Well, that was seven. <laughs> I have simply been performing my duty as a member of the glorious Class One. Of course I could spare some consideration for a hapless classmate with barely enough attendance to graduate. One who has unreasonable tasks thrust upon him on a near daily basis, yet somehow manages to triumph regardless. And you said I was sudden. You're serving as the deputy of the Marquis's family in Ortis now, right? I'm sure that's no walk in the park either, but I know you'll give it everything you've got. But of course. There's no way I can allow us to fall behind House Alborea. I recommend you do the same for whatever may come at your unique new workplace. And seeing as she is not so terribly far, do be sure to keep in touch with Lady Elise. Perhaps you might even put in a good word? Thanks again for all your help, Patrick. But that's an entirely different matter. No. <sighs> Take care. Hope to see you again soon. Indeed. Oh yes, it nearly slipped my mind. About that pledge Class 7 made one year ago. I hope to see it come to fruition. Oh. Yeah. I... Well, here I am. I've never been to the suburbs west of Heimdall before. Almost reminds me of Trista. <laughs> there are even Lino flowers blooming here. Trista, and the Academy. I wonder how everyone who's still there is doing, and how Principal Van Dyke is after he returned to active duty. I never would have dreamed something like that would happen. That must be it there. I can tell it's brand new even from here. They said they'd take Valimar to the hangar on sight. Reed? Uh-huh. Wow, 
The magazines don't do you justice. You look so mature now. Did you get taller too? I almost didn't recognize you. Uh, Toa? Oh, did you not recognize me either? <laughs> I definitely haven't gotten taller, but I'm hoping my new work uniform adds some womanly charm. Oh, or maybe shows that my figure's filled out a little bit more. Uh, hold on. Hmm? It's just, uh, well, we haven't seen each other in a while, and I could never get a hold of you. Then you just show up out of nowhere, dressed for work, in the same town I'm about to start work? <laughs> I never imagined we'd end up working at the same place. Sorry, I didn't mean to surprise you. I thought you already knew. Well, a lot happened before graduation. And after it. I'm sure you've heard all about it. Of course. It was actually one of the reasons I decided to come here. But it sure was a nice surprise to hear you'd be joining me. Same for me. Well, anyway. Congratulations on graduating, Rain. I'm sure there are plenty of other people who want to say that to you. But I figured I'd do it before anyone else. Thanks, Toa. Wait. Do you want something more professional, like Ms. Herschel now? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Toa is just fine. Remember what I said when we first met? There's no need for formalities with me. Miss Herschel is awfully tempting, though. <sighs> she hasn't changed a bit. So, Toa, you've been here a little while now, right? What's her new workplace like? Hmm. Well, I'm sure they told you a bunch of different things when you accepted your position. But I think this job is going to turn out to be a lot more difficult than you expect. Will it? I've been mentally preparing myself for the worst. I just hope I'm ready. Have you already met all of our colleagues? Yeah, we've all met. I'll introduce you to them. But brace yourself, okay? <laughs> I feel like the butterflies in my stomach have turned into stampeding rhinociders. It, it's okay. I'm in the same boat as you. Let's work together as fellow graduates of Thor's and get through this. <laughs> Roger that. Oh, we're here. The color's different, but it's nice they kept the horned lion crest. Mm-hmm. This is the main entrance to our new workplace. Welcome, Reen, to the newly established Thor's Military Academy branch campus in Leeds. Rin Schwarzer, welcome. I am Michael Irving of the Railway Military Police. Branch campus though it may be, I will do my utmost to serve as chief instructor. <laughs> well, well, lucky me. Didn't expect to run into such a celeb at a place like this. Name's Randolph Orlando. Got transferred here from the Imperial Army Crossbell Unit. I've been hearing your name all over lately. Pleasure to finally meet the man himself. <laughs> Reen. I'm Reen Schwarzer. Just a rookie who recently graduated from Thor's main campus. Pleased to meet you, Major Irving. First Lieutenant Orlando. Likewise. It's an honor to be able to work with the famous Ashen Chevalier. But keep in mind, we're not looking for heroics from Divine Knights here. We're only interested in your aptitude as an instructor. Understood. He's from the Railway Military Police. I certainly didn't expect to find a ranking off. Not to mention... That look tells me you know a bit about my sordid backstory. Been peeking through the Intelligence Division's files, I take it. Yes, I can't deny it. From what I could tell, it was a pretty complicated situation that sent you here. <laughs> 
Not as complicated as yours. Anyway, all of us instructors are here now. Major, Instructor Randolph, I'm looking forward to working with you. Indeed. I'm curious to see what you'll bring here, especially after you turn down a position with us. I've been curious as to why. <laughs> uh, so you... Oh, that's so? You must be better than you look for the RMP to roll out the red carpet. I heard you graduated early. What are you, like 17 or something? Um... Actually, I'm 21. What? Nuh-uh. You're seriously only three years younger than me? Four instructors. That's about... Are we going to teach the entire curriculum among us? Correct. There aren't many students, but it will still require great work on our part. Training, lectures, all manner of miscellaneous tasks. We will, however, receive assistance from the special advisor and the principal. We have a special advisor? Then what's our principal like? Well... Let's just say that out of all the people in this great big empire, I never thought I'd meet someone quite as intense as our principal. Really? Uh, try not to be too shocked. You've actually met her before, Rain. Thank you for waiting. Oh, speak of the devil? Thank you for coming. Hmm. Whatever is that slack-jawed expression for? I believe we met during the Civil War. Or have you already forgotten my face? Not that I give a whit either way. Uh, no, of course not. It's good to see you again, Professor Schmidt. I've always appreciated how you helped me with Valimar's Tachi. As I said before, Save it. Though my title is Special Advisor, I plan to focus only on my research. Do endeavor to make yourself useful to me, Schwarzer. Or should I say, Ashen Awakener. <laughs> huh. He was one of Professor Epstein's disciples, right? Or maybe not. You sure he ain't some faker? Uh, no, he's the real deal. <sighs> I never imagined I would... Well, it's been about half a year, hasn't it, Schwarzer? Well, since we've all gathered, allow me to say a few words about myself. During the Civil War, I was the general of the defeated Noble Alliance. I then oversaw the Northern War, resulting in the annexation of North Ambria. But you may think of me as... Aurelia Le Guin, principal of Thor's branch campus. <laughs> Reen? All that. Guess it's not so crazy for you to be here after- hm. Uh, Principal Le Guin, it's time. Shall we proceed? Yes. Let's Herschel. Gather up our fledglings and bring them to the ground. Y yes ma'am. I'll see you soon, Rain. Bah. Alrighty. Let's see what kind of guys and gals we got. Schwarzer, see to it you aren't late. L late? To our entrance ceremony, of course. What? Huh. That would be because we set the date and time. You'll even be meeting your show that- It's starting to seem like the rumors about this place being difficult weren't exaggerations. All right then, I should- Golden Rakshasa? And that black-haired guy! Whoa! He's super famous! Huh, it's him! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> the Ashen Chevalier. No way. <laughs> what? That girl is... Attention! I will have silence! We will now begin the entrance ceremony for Thor's Military Academy's branch campus. 
The opening speeches will be omitted. We will begin by announcing class assignments. First, class eight, combat tactics. The instructor is Randolph Orlando. Right, step forward when I call your name. Jessica, Wayne, Sydney, Maya, Ash, Freddy, Gustav, and Leonora. <laughs> Next, class nine, military finance. The instructor is Toa Herschel. Um, I'll call out names now. Sandy, Kyrie, Tita, Louise, Tatiana, Valerie, Muse, Pablo, and Stark. There are nine of you in total. <laughs> class eight and class nine. Combat tactics and military finance. Then the ones left over are... Silence! We will now have a word from our principal. Principal, if you would. Huh. I am Aurelia Le Guin, principal of the Branch Campus. As some of you are new to Erebonia, not all of you may be familiar with my name. That, however, is of little concern to me. A few of you may have noticed already, but I'll spell it out for the rest. This school is a trash bin. Huh? Hmm. Thor's main campus will be welcoming the Crown Prince this year. As such, it will go through heavy reform. This campus is a place they can toss aside those deemed too troublesome, or those with problematic background, just like that. All of you, our instructors, and even myself, are here because we have been tossed aside. <sighs> hey now. No, Principal Le Guin, that is far too- However, there is a saying. Be ever vigilant as though the world is a battlefield. Such a mindset is difficult to learn in times of peace. However, the situation we find ourselves in is a perfect environment for it. Those who lack the resolve to better themselves, to reforge themselves in the fires of adversity, leave now, or you run the risk of leaving later in Adios's arms. Very well. In that case, I welcome each and every one of you to Thor's military a Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. I greet you with these familiar words from Emperor Dreigel. Well, I'm nice and overwhelmed now, but... Just where are we supposed to go? <sighs> General, um, Principal, could I get you to announce the final class? <sighs> huh? Very well. We'll be picking up after the main campuses classes 1 through 6, with our own classes 7 through 9. The three of you make up class 7, Special Operations. Your instructor will be him. Reen Schwarzer. Wow! I looked over the blueprints, but I didn't think it'd be this don't get so excited. This facility is nothing remarkable. As I explained before, much of your duties will be performed here under my direction. I expect nothing short of raw talent from a Russell. Uh, yes, sir! So, she's a student here after all. I could swear I've heard the name Russell somewhere before. But more importantly... And we're class seven is clearly no coincidence. Only three students, and she's one of them. Combat tactics and military finance are undergoing their orientations at the moment. Special operations will be having an orienteering exercise. You must make it through this facility in one piece. <laughs> in one piece? What does that mean? What is this? It's called Einhell Keep. 
It was built in conjunction with the branch campus for testing new methods of training. The interior is fully controllable via orbital technology and features variable difficulty levels. As for your exercise, you will be combating monsters and such unleashed within the keep. What? M monsters? That's a joke. Now I understand. Special operations indeed. I guess this is a fitting enough exercise, given our class's name. And it's not just for my students, either. It helps that you're quick on the uptake. That said, don't assume it will be the same as the Class 7 you were part of. Rather than an experimental clash between social classes, this one will act as an established task force for assignments in the field. And as its instructor, you will have your students see each assignment through. It's all starting to come together. H hold on just a second! We did what you said and came here. But what the heck is all- This is just- I mean, no one ever told me I was being put in some shady black ops squad. Your placement in Class 7 is the result of your aptitude test, Cadet Crawford. If you are dissatisfied, you have the option to pack your bags and return to the Military Police Academy. <laughs> That's all the way in Crossbell. I've yet to accept the situation, but I understand it now, at the very least. Can you give us more detail? Certainly. Instructor Schwarzer and the three of you will enter the keep and stand by for further instruction. Michael handed Drian four Master Quartz. While on standby, they will explain their qualifications as you brief them on the use of the Arcus II. Understood. Bah! Finally, we can begin the trial. Disciple candidate, don't dawdle. Everything must be up and running in ten minutes. Yes! Damn, looks like this school's even more messed up than I'd heard. I'd prefer if non-affiliates stayed off the premises. <laughs> Take it easy. I ain't here to cause trouble. As soon as she's done with her orientation, I'm getting the hell out of here. Very well. You may have been referred here by the royal family, but don't forget your place. That extends to any actions you and your friends will take in the Empire from here on out. <laughs> I'd say that's up to you guys, you know? You got a whole country up to its neck in plots and schemes, and then a screwed up school like this pops up out of nowhere. Really makes you wonder who's pulling the strings around here. I suppose I should have expected as much from an A-rank brace. A facility full of untested mechanisms certainly sounds like a playground for the professor. So how much do you already know? Nothing too specific. The above ground portion is a cube measuring 50 arch on each side, and the below ground area is still being expanded. Hmm? Are the two of you already acquainted? We are. I just had no idea she'd be one of my students, but that's neither here nor there. Let's start with introductions while everything's being prepped. I just got here earlier today, so I'm sorry I haven't had time to speak with you two. I'm... <sighs> Why even bother introducing yourself? We all know you're Reen Schwarzer, the Ashen Chevalier, the big hero who put an end to the Erebonian Civil War when he was just a student. Not to mention the occupation of Crossbell. I'm sure everyone in Erebonia knows who you are. Probably everyone in Crossbell. <sighs> In addition, you resolved incident after incident across the Empire as part of your schoolwork. Then, during the Northern War last October, you worked alongside General Le Guin and Brigadier General Bart- Le Guin? Like, our principal? Wait, what? And he helped occupy North Ambria? That's erroneous. The actual circumstances were- You're both very well informed. Though, calling me a hero is a bit much. I'd still like to say a little bit about myself. As you know, I'm Reen Schwarzer. I'm a graduate of Thor's Military Academy's main campus. I got my diploma just last month, and I'm starting as an instructor here at the branch campus today. I'll be overseeing martial arts and panzer soldat training outside the classroom. Inside the classroom, I'll be teaching history. That is, of course, in addition to being the homeroom teacher for Class 7 Special Operation. I'll go next. My name is Kurt Vander. I'm from the capital. I've heard more than just the common stories about you. 
You're a Vander. That would make you General Zex and Lieutenant Colonel Mueller. Mueller is my older brother. Though I'm aware I look... Yeah. It's true. By the way, are those glass? They don't look good on you at all. You should probably get rid of them. Oof. <laughs> Fashion is clearly not their intended function. <sighs> all right, I get it. They don't look good. No need to rub it in. Nice to meet you, Kurt. You're up. <sighs> Fine. Oh, brother. I'm Una Crawford. I transferred here from the Crossbell Police Academy, and honestly, I'd rather not be here. But if that's how it's gonna be, then I'll just have to make the most of it. Ah, Crossbell. I had my suspicion. So, when you say police academy, you're talking about the military police academy, right? There was no military slapped on the name before the annexation. You guys are the ones who changed it. Are you saying I can only call it by the official name the great and powerful Erebonia has blessed it with? No, that's... <laughs> but I still don't accept that name. Yeah. That's completely understandable. Hmm? I'm like... Altina Orion, formerly part of the Imperial Army's Intelligence Division. Uh, Isn't that classified? My affiliation with them ended upon my enrollment here. On paper, please. I feel as though I've just heard some- The Intelligence Division is pretty hardcore, isn't it? Uh, uh, slip of the tongue. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Preparations are now complete for the Level 0 Einhell Trial. If you haven't already, please set your Arcus 2s now. Is that the girl from earlier? I was under the impression she was a student. Understood. Give us just a moment. Each of you were given one of these, right? Ah, that. I was sent one, but I haven't turned it on yet. It's a battle orbment. Normal battle orbments are personal devices that link with their user and can produce a variety of effects. They can improve your physical abilities and allow you to cast orbital arts, among other things. But this is the newest model, the Arcus II. It has a few additional functions. Interesting. It's a little different from the Enigma models in Crossbell. To be precise, they are the product of a collaboration between the Reinford Company and Epstein Foundation. I assume these models are combat ready? Yeah. Now. Rian handed a master quartz to each of the three students. We get master quartz? The Enigmas did have these. The basics should be the same. Go ahead and set your master quartz in the central slot. Yes, sir. Uh, here. I should set mine while they're at it. Orbments, a general term for mechanical devices that extract orb orbital energy from septium and use it to generate magical effects and enhancements. Battle orbment occurs second. A personal use device that can harness orbital energy in a variety of ways depending on the quartz set in it. Since they are tailor made for the users, the orbit orbments internal structure varies from one unit to another. Quartz crystal circuit, a circuit made from septium fragments called sepith, set into battle orbments to harness a variety of power and properties. Master Quartz is a special kind of quartz which can be set into the center of the new Arcus to battle orbments. These quartz are stronger and more adaptable than regular quartz and by fighting battles with one set in your orbment, it will level up and gain new abilities. Gain CP plus 8 for every enemy killed. Okay, it, it gives you Firebolt Art. Level 3. Can see plus 12 for every enemy killed. Your current story objective is always displayed. You can even see it when you press down to expand the minimap. Please set Regan's Master Quartz into his Arcus 2. Master Quartz can be set in the Orbmate section of the camp menu. Set your Master Quartz current objective. Let's go to the camp menu and Orment Art Squads Arts I'll oh, check the arts Thales Recovery Art 1 re resource HP cures KO reverse one ally and heals them small a small amount of HP Okay quartz set quartz I have one master quartz Bridget 
killing enemies restores CP. CP plus 8 per enemy killed. And there's an art associated art associated with it. Firebolt. Okay. Am I done here? This slot is unopened. Okay. Well, I have one other quartz, Thales. Okay. Now I have two arts, Thales and Firebolt. Shoots a blazing orb for fire at an enemy. Now what? Equip. A leather vest that softens, softens incoming blows. Leather boots. Hien. A light blade. Forged with weight in mind. Item status or mint. Crimson slash. Item. What item do I have? Nothing. No items. Whoa. I can feel it working. Now that you've set your master quartz, you're synced with your Arcus units. You should be able to notice a significant difference in combat. All right. Okay. Now this is new. How long do you intend to keep me waiting? Sorry, Professor. We're ready. Then let's not waste any more time. Level zero begins on floor B1. The trial will be considered completed once you return to ground level. Professor, isn't that red love? Sir, you shouldn't use that. Oh, don't act like you have a lick of common sense. You're Albert's granddaughter. It's time we saw what Class 7's special operations is made of. I'm curious to see if you can survive with a passing score. Hey, watch the floor! Huh? What? <sighs> right yourself and brace for the landing. Altina, you... Clown Soleus. Never mind. What? I remember that professor talking, then the floor opened up. Um, it was Yuna. Huh? Uh huh? My apologies, but if you could move. It's not that you're heavy, but I'm having trouble breathing. <laughs> <clears throat> well then, history repeats itself. The floor appears to be padded, so bruising should not be an issue. How strangely like the obscene positions you often find yourself in, Instructor Reen. Please don't say things that'll give people the wrong impression. Oh, wow. I'm surprised you're already calling me an instructor. That is your current designation. <laughs> I assure you, I didn't intend for this to happen. Then again, I suppose intent is irrelevant. I won't make any further excuses. You may hit me if it'll make you feel better. <laughs> How very admirable of you. You being so calm about it just pisses me off even more. So I think I'll take you up on that. <laughs> Erebonian boys are just so... Ugh! I do not believe his nationality was a factor. You were just a little unlucky. Not unlucky. I lacked the expertise to make a proper landing. That resulted in embarrassment for one of my classmates. I admit my fault. Uh, I see. He's so mature for his age. Well, minus one stinging cheek, the three of you look fine to me. So, it's time to begin storming the keep. But first, I'll need each of you to show me your weapons. This whole thing is a joke, right? Do we really have to play along? I know the professor, and he isn't the type to joke around. He's serious about measuring each of our abilities. I want to learn everyone's combat styles so we can work together and get out of here safely. <sighs> Understood. These are my weapons. 
two swords? That takes skill. You're using the Vander School's dual blade style then. I knew of it, but I've never met a practitioner. I admit our great sword style has far more notoriety. But that style also requires one to be born with a broader physique. These blades are better suited for the likes of. I didn't realize. Well, Yuna, how about you? I'm still not down for all this, but I get it. This is a military academy, so here you go. Another dual wielder. You use side handle, but they look a little more complicated than that. What are they exactly? These are gunbreakers, special tanfa with guns installed, developed by the one and only CGF. They can switch between melee and mid-range fire. An intriguing weapon. A crossbell guardian force, right? If I recall, First Lieutenant Orlando was once part of it. He'd left long before the occupation disbanded them, though. Good to know. We'll see how well they work in action today. You do seem to know your way around them. Uh, of course I do. I trained with them at the police academy. And they'll be way more useful than a couple of weapons as old as the Great Collapse. Hmm. <laughs> we'll see where everyone stands once we've engaged in actual combat. You're up next, Altine. Understood. Hold up. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. Who let a kid enroll at a military academy? I've been curious about that myself. She claimed to be with the intelligence division, but surely she won't be joining us in battle. Well, personally, I agree, but... There is no need for concern. My physical age is approximately 14 years old. I am no small child. F physical age? No, you're definitely small. I also have my weapon, the basis for my admittance into the intelligence division. What the hell? This explains that black shadow I thought I saw earlier. Clown Soleus, a combat shell. The latest version of the line of special weaponry. Further details are classified. Suffice to say, it will contribute to our overall fighting strength. Um, are things like that normal in the Empire? Of course not. It's my first time seeing something like this, too. The Golden Rakshasa, the Ashen Chevalier, and even a girl like her. What manner of place is this branch campus? I don't blame either of you for having questions, but we can save them for another time. By the way, this is my weapon. Of course, the Tachi is used by students of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. Just like back then. The, I mean, it's just like the sword Arios used. Right. It's not an Imperial-style sword. It comes from the East. <laughs> I guess the Divine Blade of Wind is pretty famous in Crossbell. A lot happened, but he still has plenty of fans. Even when a certain empire has made him a wanted man. Yeah, I suppose so. That covers everyone then. Let's be on our way. We're currently on floor B1. If we make it back up to ground level, this little trial will be over. I'll give you some tips along the way on combat, how to use arts, and your Arcus unit. Follow me and proceed carefully and deliberately. Okay, let's just go. I'll give it my all. Commence mission. About notebook, you open the notebook of pressing right side of touchpad while in the field or on the main screen of the camp menu. The notebook will automatically record information on a variety of subjects and more tabs will be unlocked as the game progresses. In the main table of notebook, you can check your overall rating. The navigation lock can also be found here. Minimap. Press down arrow to expand the minimap standard view. Expanded view. This allows you to view the area's topography as well as your location and locations of enemies. Party order. You can change the character leading in the party in the camp menu on, or on the field map by pressing L1. In addition, you can use the tactics section of the camp menu to change the party order as well as your battle formation. The entrance is right over there. Let's move out as soon as we're ready. Yes, sir.